Hey, so it's been six months since I started a bullet journal and I wanted to make a video um, to sort of flip through it and um, show you what I do, what works for me, uh, mostly because I'm really good at starting things and I have a tendency not to be as good at following through and um, I've done this for six months now and it's been really, really good to me. So um, yeah, I wanted to show you uh, what it looked like for me. So, jumping right in, uh, the first thing we have is a uh, index, and this is part of um, the sort of original bullet journal system. Uh, to do an index, you put the pages uh, every time you add a new page, and you put page numbers so they're easier to find, and I do continue to use this and uh, refer to it. A lot of pages, I know where they are, and I can just flip right to them, but if not, they're all right here and they're all accounted for. Um, a key, I do use most of these uh, symbols. Um, I don't have to refer back to this because I just have them memorized now, but it's there um, if I ever want it. Uh, year at a glance, I um, refer to this all the time for future planning um, when I need to know, you know, what's coming up. Um, uh, mood tracker. If you Google mood tracker or bullet journal mood tracker, this is one of the first ones that comes up and I love this. Um, I don't know who originally did it, but you basically um, track your mood with the different colors and then you can see it all um, laid out for you. This is the future log and if you don't want to make it, you know, with the colors and everything, you can just divide the page up either into six and six, or if you think you need more room, do, um, you know, three and three and do it over two pages. Um, mostly what I use this for is just things like um, birthdays or, you know, concert dates or big things that are coming up so that, you know, when I go to make that month, I know that they're there. Dentist appointments, things like that. Um, and this, this has worked fine for that for me. I've had enough space. Um, to do everything I wanted to do there. Uh, this is how I do my months. Um, I set it up as a like a regular calendar, have spot for to-dos, and a habit tracker on the bottom to keep track of things I want to do every day. Um, I always put some washi tape on the side here so that when I um, look at it, I can quickly flip to um, the months because they're all, they're all taped up. Um, another thing that's great about bullet journals is they're a good place to keep what they call collections. So um, I've got books I've read here um, that I'll keep up with uh, for the year. I've got hikes we've gone on. Um, I made this page of self-care ideas, which I admittedly don't refer to very often, but I think even just writing them down um, sort of it gets it more in your consciousness and you're more able to remember them if you take the time to write them down. Uh, blog post ideas. Um, this is how I do my uh, sort of daily to-dos. I set up the week like this. If you Google um, bullet journal weekly spreads, you will find um, a ton of ideas, some simple, some elaborate, um, some in between. The original... Um, bullet journal system does not do weekly pages like this. It just does daily. You would just write the date and then um, write your list of to-dos. I like having it um, being able to see a week at a glance and this gives me enough space to do um, my to-dos for the day. So I've, I've kept with this until very recently and um, in a minute I'll tell you why I changed but um, this worked really well for me to have it um, divided like this and uh, gives me enough space to do what I, you know, do my to-dos for the week. Um, so that is what I use for my week and for my my day-to-day, -day, you know, what do I need to do today. Um, this is something that uh, I just thought would be a cool thing to do. I do a, a monthly review every um, month and I really look forward to doing it. So I have you know, cool things that happened, hikes we went on, um, books I read, music I've been listening to, movies I saw, um, any me sort of memorable thing, um, I put it on one page, and I've done that for every single month this year, and it's kind of cool to 
uh, look back on those and um, just have a little recap of the month, the good and the bad. Um, it's great for doing, um, keeping track of challenges you might do, whether it's for, you know, exercise, house cleaning, whatever. Um, I did a push-up challenge, um, so I, I put it in here, and I almost finished. Um, I got up to 81 uh, push-ups on my feet. I did first my knees, then my feet. Um, so I consider that a success, even though I didn't quite officially finish. Um, I've got books uh, by female authors I wanted to read. I saw that in an article. I thought that was cool, so I made a page for those. Uh, I made a page for quotes, which I keep forgetting I have, um, but I love quotes and I wanted a place to put them um, all in one place, so I made that. Uh, this month I got a little, um, I would say, I, overboard, I guess, for me, for my personal taste with the stickers and things. Um, I didn't like how busy this ended up looking, but the nice thing about it is um, if you don't like something, you just do it differently the next month so um yeah i didn't like how this turned out so um i didn't do it like that again but that's just just to show you um different things you can do sometimes some people love to use a lot of stickers and tapes and things um so that's what that is uh this this might be too much information um but one thing that's great about uh bullet journals is that you can use them for any sort of um health issues as well. This is um, obviously stomach issue log. Um, I've been trying to pin down um, what's been causing some uh, stomach issues I've had. So this is a great way to sort of keep track. So you have a log when you go to the doctor. Um, it can help you pinpoint things. Um, pinpoint things. It has not helped me yet, but I'm, I'm hopeful. <laughs> um, if you don't know, I run a conference uh, called Free to Be, and um, I made a few pages in here for that this year so it's all everything I need is all in one place um, so I've got my speakers and my presentations and uh, my chats and the workshops uh, a couple more pages and notes and things um, all in one place uh, I also have this stuff on a spreadsheet on the computer but I like things on paper so I put that in here too um, I read this as an article and I thought it was um, good information so anytime I do that, I'm like, no, that's cool. I want to save that um, and make a page um, in my bullet journal. So uh, that's what that is. Um, this is, I started, uh, another cool thing is you can use it as sort of like a doodle art uh, book. I started doing these uh, little doodles and um, I, I do them every week. And I just think they're fun and they make it more, I don't know, happy for me. So I do, sometimes I do plants, sometimes I do animals. Um, and so I just wanted to show those because that's just another fun way you can make it more um, uh, customized, I guess. Uh, this month in June, I saw this uh, ribbon style one, which I thought was really cool. So I started doing that for the first time uh, in June. And I did that uh, for July as well. Um, this idea I got from Kara at Boho Berry. Uh, it's a self-care tracker. And um, you point, you um, pinpoint every day where you are on mood, activity, sleep, diet. And um, I thought it was cool. And it is cool. But I will not do it again because it was sort of um, fussy for me. And it was, I, I, I found that it was hard to keep up with and it almost stressed me out to remember to keep up with it every night, which sort of defeats the purpose, but it was really cool. If you're into, um, tracking things like that, uh, it was, a, it was a cool idea. Um, a lot of people use bullet journal for things like budgets, uh, anything to do with money. If you're trying to pay down debt anything like that, I have not used it for that, but I did in June decide I just wanted to see, um, how much we were spending versus how much we were bringing in. So I did that. I tracked everything we spent for a month um, just to see. So I have that. Um, movies I want to watch and I'm crossing them off as we go. Um, and then here I said earlier that I changed um, how I did the week. Um, I started school and I wanted to um, break the week down a little bit more so I would have 
spots for appointments for school for um, blogging for to do's to housework um, so I changed uh, into this uh, style which so far is working really well um, this week I'm on vacation so I switched it up again and then um, for the for the next week I went back to uh, this which so far I think it's gonna work really well for me So for pens, um, my favorite sort of everyday pen that I write my to-dos and things with every day is the um, Sharpie fine tip uh, felt tip pen. This is my, these are the pens I have all over the place. Um, they're not terribly expensive. I buy them by the box. Uh, these are perfect for uh, just everyday writing. For a little bit more um, expensive pens, this is the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen. Um, this is the S size. Um, I really like these for, um, you know, setting up my weeks and things. Uh, my one complaint with these is that they do not last as long as you um, would like for a, you know, a higher end pen. They, I find that the tips sort of flatten out and then you don't get the good, um, you know, crisp line. Um, anymore. I still like them and they write nice and black, but I, I don't use them um, as often as I used to because they do t tend to uh, flatten out uh, if, unless you have a really super gentle hand, which I thought I did, but um, they still tend to flatten out after a while. Um, so that's the um, Pit Artist Pen. Um, so what I use now to set up my um, weeks, the things that got the, these nice fine lines here, are the um, Micron. And I love, 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 love these. These are perfect for um, doodling. And if you do anything like um, Zentangle or um, any little um, tiny doodly things like that, these pens are awesome. They write nice and fine. They last a long time. Um, this one is O2. This is the 0.3 size. This is what I use for like these little lines here. They're nice and fine. Um, when I use it for just um, sort of to-do lists and things like that, I use the slightly bigger size, the 03. Um, this is 0.35, so it's just a little bit bigger line. Um, these are a bit more expensive, but these are awesome pens. Um, if I didn't use the Sharpie, this would be, uh, this would be my everyday pen. Um, I still use these probably every day, but I don't use them really outside of my bullet journal because they're, um, a, you know, a nicer pen, a more expensive pen. If you like gel pens, this is the um, Pentel Energel. I really like this one. Um, this is 0.7 tip. Um, I really like this one for, I use it for lists and things. Um, another popular one that people like is the uh, I believe it's Pilot G2. Um, that's sort of uh, this one's one of its competitors, I guess you'd say. Um, anytime you see color, um, any color in here is these are Stettler um, markers, and these are awesome. They are double sided, so you've got a fine tip on that side, and you've got a wide tip on that side, and um, these are mostly what I use for color. Stettler also makes, which I do not have yet and I'm sad about, they also make a fine tip um, pen like the Sharpie pen, um, like the metal tip um, that are supposed to be great. I do not have those yet. They come in um, black and also a whole bunch of colors. But for a marker, you cannot, cannot, cannot beat these. Except for, I just got my first set of... Um, Tombow uh, brush pens. These are also double-sided, so you have the fine point, and this is uh, the brush pen. It's flexible, so you can do um, thin lines and then fat lines, depending on how hard you press. They come in like 96 colors, and they are amazing. Um, I This is what 
this is what the set looks like. Um, I got the bright colors, uh, but they come, you can get bright, you can get pastels, you can get primary, you can get secondary, you can get earth tones. Um, yeah, 96 colors. And these are amazing. So that's it. Um, that's my bullet journal. Those are my pens. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to put links for um, all the stuff I talked about here, uh, including, you know, the notebook I use, these little... Uh, these little flaggy things I use, the pens, the markers, um, I'll have links for all of that. Um, make sure you're following me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat. I'm also on Patreon now, so check me out there. And um, I hope you enjoyed.